All right, this is an average value problem where we want to find the average value of the function on this given interval from zero to three. And here's our function. So x squared times the square root of nine plus x cubed. So the setup on this is out in front, we always want to set up one over, we're going to subtract these uh, endpoints of our interval. All right, and then we're going to integrate between zero and three for this function, x squared multiplied by the square root of nine plus x cubed. And this will be with respect to x because our bounds are based on x. Um, so to get going on this, we first just set it up like this. And then to actually do the integration, I think we're going to need to use uh, the substitution method. So we're going to let u equal the inner function. In this case, it's what's underneath the radical. And then we're going to take du. We're going to take the derivative of both sides here. The derivative of 9 will be 0. And then we get 3x squared with a dx. Now we can replace the x squared and the dx, but we don't have a three to fill in for. So let's move the three to the other side. So we can say one third du is equal to x squared dx. And then rewriting this, we can simplify down the three minus zero to just three out in front. Then we still have the integral. Now we get to replace in, we're gonna substitute in and we've replaced the x squared and the dx with one third, which I'm going to put out in front, du. But then we also get to replace in what's underneath the radical with u. All right, but our bounds, they're going to change as well. All right, because initially these were x values for zero and three. We need to switch these over to u values. So we're going to use our let statement where u equals nine plus x cubed. And we're going to fill in each one of these. So we get nine plus three cubed, which will be nine plus 27, which works out to be 36 for a u value that means the same thing. And then we're also gonna plug in zero. So substitute it into our let statement and we get nine plus zero cubed, which will be nine plus zero, which works out to be nine. So our lower bound is gonna be nine. All right, next we actually need to do our integrating. So as we get going on this, I'm going to take the one third times another one third is one ninth. I'm going to visualize this as nine to 36. I'm going to rewrite that instead of a square root, we can say that's the same thing as to the one half power. And now let's do our integrating. So we're going to increase the exponent by one. So one half plus two halves will be three halves. And then we can either divide by our new exponent or since it's fractional, Let's use its reciprocal out in front. So we can say multiply by two over three out in front. And this is gonna be evaluated between nine and 36 for our bounds of integration. From here, this is two twenty-sevenths, And then we're gonna go ahead and fill in the 36, the top value raised to the three halves power and subtract away two twenty-sevenths, where we plug in the bottom value raised to the three halves power. All right, with a little bit of simplifying down here, we could just put it in our calculator, or we could think of this as being the square root of 36 raised to the third power and the square root of nine because our denominator is a nine. Our denominator here is a two for our rational exponent. That's the same thing as a square root, and then we'll cube it. So two twenty-sevenths. And then we have six raised to the third power minus two twenty-sevenths. The square root of nine is three raised to the third power. And really this can work out to be two twenty-sevenths. And we could go ahead and say, well, this is two cubed times three cubed. Thinking about factoring that six and bringing the exponent to the inside. And then this is equivalent to 27. All right, why I'd wanna do that is because three cubed is the same thing as 27. And we can cancel out these 27s as well. So this is gonna leave us with two times two cubed, two times eight is 16 minus two, as those 27s got to cancel each other out and eventually get all the way down to a nice solid number of 14 as being the average value on this, uh, on this interval of this function. So as you get going on these, take your time, make sure that when you start out with X values, 
If you need to do a substitution, switch those over to U values. That's where we got the 36 and nine by simply using your let statement up here and then do your integration as usual, um, simplifying down as you go. Um, good luck to you as you figure out average value on a given interval.